Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. How to place collection pans driving the center pass for a spread pattern test. The product you are spreading, whether fertilizer, lime, or another granular product, should have an even distribution across your field. A spread pattern test will make sure you get the best results for your time spent in the field and the money spent on fertilizer. The center pass driving method of spread pattern testing is the quickest. Simply lay out your pans, drive over it once, and evaluate the pattern. Lay out your collection pans based on your swath width. There will be a center pan identified by color or a flag and four or five pans on either side. Newton Crouch sells a spread pattern test kit. It includes the density scale, 11 collection pans, test tubes and rack, funnel, and measuring tape. The chart below shows the pan layout. This chart is available online at newtoncrouch.com, support tab, technical tips tab. Using the chart, let's start setting up a test pattern for a 60-foot swath. Start by using the tape to measure out your swath width. Locate and place your center pan. Working out from the center, first to the left, add five pans, measuring 72 inches center pan to center pan. Repeat to the right. For a 60-foot swath, center of pan 1 to center of pan 11 is 720 inches. The full swath is measured. A red pan is placed to indicate the center and side pans are added until the grid is complete. The operator is driving a center pass pattern. Note that our center pan is gray and all other side pans are blue. Each pan is carefully emptied into a test tube using the funnel. The pattern is evaluated to see what, if any, adjustments need to be made. The desired spread pattern for the center pass is the oval. Newton Crouch equipment can be set to make the pyramid spread pattern as well. Newton Crouch equipment can spread fertilizer 65, 70, and even 80 feet with extended swath capability. The instructions for setting up a wider swath are detailed in a separate video, Pan Placement for Extended Range Swaths. When performing a spread pattern test, the S pattern is best as it most closely duplicates actual field conditions. There is a separate video on this technique. The instructions in this video are in your operator's manual. Your manual was made specifically for your unit. The Newton Crouch website also has this information. Go to www.newtoncrouch.com. The Support tab and Technical Support tab will take you to the Dry section where this information is available. Please view the videos How to Determine Your Product Density and How to Perform a Spread Pattern Test with Your Dry Fertilizer Spreader before heading to the field. These videos complete the information necessary to get the best results. Proudly Made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch, Inc.